to Shark Baby, delivering news faster than you can say, please stop it. Seriously, I mean it. That's my mother's carpet. I'm intrepid news hound Lee Camp. And I'm ambiguously ethnic reporter Nagin Farsad. <clears throat> Top story tonight, lab-grown infant takes first gala. The latest update in the lab-grown infant story. Last Thursday, senior biomedical engineer Patrick Borman announced that the toddler's many variegated patches allow him a curious array of capabilities not ordinarily seen in genetic abominations of his age. Added Borman with a hint of surprise. You wouldn't expect a freakish stitchwork federation of spare human parts, condor blood, the body of a bobcat, and the head of a bison to locomote so smoothly. Borman assured members of the press that the iron bolts protruding from either side of the boy's neck were pasted on just for a joke, though the frequent vomiting is a legitimate defect. Next story tonight, new indie terrorist plot attaches Muqtada al Sadr. Wrote one devoted fan on ITDB.com, a popular terror web forum, quote, On the one hand, the production was resisting pressure from Al-Qaeda executives to cast a popular A-list terrorist like Osama, but, the post continues, the director wanted a terrorist with less mainstream appeal, like uh, Muhammad Ali Atta or uh, Gideon Yeager. Uh, speaking of which, do you think I could get a ride home tonight? How is, how is that speaking of which? What? In order for it to be speaking, which Gideon Yeager would have to be a type of car. Oh, I thought it was. Then the joke would have been, wanted a terrorist with less mainstream appeal like a car. I literally don't understand what the f you're saying like 65 to 70 percent of the time. I mean, I usually just show up for the bagels. You know what I mean? I figured you fell off the wagon. I was never on the wagon. Look, can I get a ride home or not? On my wagon? In your car. I don't own a car. Do you own a wagon? What is I don't it, own a wagon or a car. Those are two things I don't own. Okay, I'm not going to finish this broadcast unless I know I'm getting a ride. And lastly, Silly Grocery Store offers paper, plastic, or Play-Doh. Area schmuck and grocery store manager Patrick Thorpe has again instituted a number of exasperating and immature measures into his chain of local food stores. The obnoxious new practices, part of what he's termed an effort to enliven the shopping atmosphere, will include such preposterous, unamusing gags as jumping out from behind the frozen foods aisle and replacing clearly stated aisle markers with drug slang. That's all for today. I'm Intrepid News Hound Lee Camp. And I'm ambiguously ethnic reporter Nagin Farsad. This has been Shark Baby News, expediting the apocalypse one stupid joke at a time. Good night. Good God, cut your fingernails. <laughs>